As we all know, me especially, we go up and wondering how the hell is Barry going to actually get his speed back for season seven. Now, as, you know, as we all know, throughout season six, they figure they can create an artificial speed force. But the clue to actually getting Barry's speed, speed back may actually be in the comic books. Courtesy of Screen Ranch, shout out to them. Uh, let's get right into it, guys. As the article reads, the comic books may provide a clue as to how Barry Allen will fully restore his speed, speed strip abilities in the Flash Season 7. Now, one of the biggest consequences of the Crisis on Infinite Earths for Team Flash was the death of the Speed Force. And that really got me up when I saw that, man. When I was doing my review that episode, man, that crushed me. I'm like, no, how are they going to do this? <laughs> so, the sentient power source that fuels all speedsters was poisoned by the energy of the Spectre uh, during Crisis and has since died. The result is that Barry Allen's speed is quickly depleting with no way for him to restore his, his speed reserves. And so, in the Flash mid-season premiere, Barry realized that the cost of asking for the Spectre Sector's help, Spectre's help to access the Speed Force during the crisis. He realized with, with, you know, the cost of it. So, to Barry's horror, the Speed Force died right in front of him, literally, with the help of Wally protecting his mind, being, being that Wally has a greater connection with the Speed Force. Uh, this was a great loss to be, sh at, you know, for sure, as the Speed Force was, in a way, Barry's most reliable ally, true. Now, Barry is forced to move forward without it. Slowly, Barry's speed is, is dissipating, and before long, all of Barry's speed will be gone. Now, to fix this problem, Barry has searched desperately for a fix. His hope is to build an artificial speed force similar to one created by Reverse Flash, but his attempts to do so have so far been unsuccessful. Since this situation was resolved in Season 6, this is a story that will certainly be tackled in Season 7 of the CW series. And speaking of which, I heard that, you know, the Flash really won't be out until... 20 January 2021 and that really disappoints me because I'm usually used to the flash premiering like right around the week of my birthday and I have faith because I had because I was looking at some uh, some stats that the coronavirus pandemic may, may actually just go away around November 11th so hopefully you know that will happen I have faith that that'll, that'll actually happen so then that way it can stay on track it may be about a month sooner or a month later but nonetheless it's still on schedule you know what I'm saying plus with the other shows like star girl and so on but let's get back to it, y'all. And so, like I said, however, exactly how Barry will fix his speed force problem is, is, is certainly unclear. If Barry's artificial speed force idea doesn't pan out, it could be that the characters will figure out that Barry can be a speedster without relying on any source of the speed force. So as a result of the infinite crisis of the event in the comics, the speed force was destroyed, taking away the powers of all the speedsters, with the sole exception of the original Flash, Jay Garrick. He could, use the, he could use the speed force just like Barry and Wally, but as a metahuman whose main power was super speed, he didn't need it. And that's facts. He was able to get it by get by fine without it. Hmm. Forgot about that one. Daryl Burns, the character played by John Wesley Ship, the original 90s Flash, hasn't been on the flat hasn't been on the show since before the crisis. But it has been confirmed that Jay Garrick is still alive somewhere on Earth Prime. It could be that the Flash will be able to move Barry closer to getting his speed back once he has his first post crisis meeting with Jay. It's possible that Jay, like his comic book counterpart, still has access to all of the, his speeds or powers. This would, of course, shock Barry, who would want to understand how this could happen. Uh, Barry could realize that since he's a metahuman, his speed is a part of him and may be a latent ability. Jay could teach him how to unlock his true potential so that Barry can go on without the speed force. Oh, so just like that. That also is a bit of a callback for me because I remember back in season one when Ray was fighting, facing off against a very powerful metahuman and he couldn't, and the speed was taken away. I believe, I believe it was like the first ever turtle man, I believe. And Barry just was really just mentally defeated. And, and uh, Harry Wells, you know, he, he pretty much gave him the, the pep talk that he needed. And Barry's, the lightning in Barry's eyes returned, and he was able to defeat uh, the turtle, I believe. That was the many he was facing off of during that moment. For those that really have a, have a keen, keen eagle eye and pretty good memory, I'm pretty sure you guys know who I'm referring to. And so I'm thinking maybe that's the only way Barry can actually go on without the speed force. Him and Wally in particular. Well, maybe Wally still has his speed, actually. They never really said that Barry, that Wally actually lost his speed. You know, but... uh. Maybe unlocking their both their true potential could actually just save them both, you know, without using the speed force, having to build an alternative, artificial one, you know what I'm saying? So alternatively, the Flash could make this story work without using Jay at all. Barry may reach this discovery all on his own, and I, and that would be great if they did do that. 
Barry could simply borrow this aspect of Jay's character from the comics. So, indeed, if the Flash does indeed go in this direction, it would, it would mean that in the end, the Arrow vs. Own Species will be Barry and the Reverse Flash, who would return in the near future. And I look forward to that, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, man. This has been your War Shaper Speaks. I love you guys. Peace and love. But also, I have another, my next video I'm doing up next is how Pepper Potts reportedly will be trying to bring Tony Stark back to life, courtesy of, courtesy of we got this covered.